Hello, this video today is specifically for the Traxxas uh, drive shaft in particular. When you put these together, one thing you'll notice is Traxxas has done us a favor and put an index mark right here on each end of the axle. And when you put these together, they should line up in the middle. This is considered a phased drive shaft, meaning that the ends are uh, mirrors of each other. You can't really see it much in a Traxxas drive shaft because it's all hidden components. But in a regular drive shaft, you'll notice that this end and this end are mirror images of each other. This is a phased drive shaft. Now, this is a broken drive shaft, which I broke earlier, but in this case, you'll see that they're not mirrored ends and um, this one has to bump out and it's obviously not lining up correctly on the other side. This would be a completely out of phase drive shaft right here, 90 degrees out of phase. So you got the bump here and you got a gap here. They can't be that way or you'll get uh, surging potentially when you are at low speed on those at most. But the ends have to be mirror images of each other and if they're not, I can post a video I have a previous video of what happens when um, they're not, but drive shafts rotate best when the each end of them are parallel, and uh, that's why it's important to make sure that uh, you get your input angle right on the uh, axle to match the uh, output of the transmission. Make sure your ends are mirror, mirror images of each other, otherwise they're out of phase. This is an out of phase condition right here. So this will solve a lot of problems. And having your drive shafts in phase, like this, mirror images, in the case of the Traxxas, with the index marks right at each other, it's going to be stronger, it can take more torque, it'll last longer. That's all I got for this video.